Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost 140 pounds and maintained that weight loss for almost two years now. And today is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have an amazing, and when I say amazing, breakfast recipe for you, lunch, and dessert. I'm truly so excited for these three recipes. All of the recipes will be on my website along with everything else I've created here on my channel. I will link my recipe website at the top of the description box. Along with nutrition coaching, highly recommend those custom personalized macros and calories. That is exactly what I track, what I calculated and followed to lose my 140 pounds as well as maintain that weight loss. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discount, Accounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's amazing, and we would love to have you. So let's how to head on into the kitchen for this week's amazing meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I am making blueberry breakfast cake. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to pair this with some protein for the perfect breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need. So the recipe calls for all-purpose flour. I'm going to do a mix. So I'm going to do some all-purpose flour and then some of my fiber gourmet flour, only because this has 55% less calories. It's only 50 calories per serving, and you're going to get 17 grams of fiber and five grams of protein. So it's going to add some extra protein to the cake. You can buy the fiber gourmet flour on Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount for Nutrition. I'll link it down below. But I do like to use this flour, again, for the fiber and the protein. I also am using allulose. This is the sweetener I've been really loving. I'll pop a picture up here of it for you. I buy it right off of Amazon. It's a natural sweetener alternative from figs and raisins. So it's nice, clean ingredients. For me, it tastes just like regular sugar. There's no aftertaste. I've been absolutely loving it. So I'll link that for you on Amazon. You'll need some milk, fresh or frozen blueberries, light butter, cinnamon, baking powder, one egg, walnuts and a fresh lemon. Now the recipe says you can do a powdered sugar glaze, which is optional. I am not going to do the glaze, but it will be part of the original recipe on my website. So let's get started on blueberry cake. So to get started on our cake, you'll need a medium bowl. I'm going to add two cups of my flour blend and then two teaspoons of baking powder. And then go ahead and mix that together. And then I have one quarter cup of light butter cold. We're going to add that in and just kind of cut it into our flour mix. We're going to add one egg, half of a cup of milk, our sugar, which should have been added in with the dry ingredients. So it'd be the flour, baking powder, and sugar, but we'll just mix it in really, really well. Then I'm going to add some lemon zest. And we're going to mix this all together. This is a super thick batter, so we're going to gently fold in the two cups of blueberries. So I have my baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Like I said, this is a really, really thick batter, so we're going to add that to our baking dish. I also have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And then we're just going to spread this into the bottom of our baking dish. For the crumble in a small bowl, we're going to add one quarter cup of flour, one third of a cup of allulose, some cinnamon, a quarter cup finely chopped walnuts, and three tablespoons of light cold butter. And then I'm actually going to go in with my hands just to make sure that I have the right consistency for the crumble and just kind of mix everything together. Then we're just going to kind of spread that right on top of our cake. Our cake is going into a 350 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes or until it's cooked through. So I just pulled the blueberry breakfast cake out of the oven. I mean, how amazing does this look? Like I said, I plan on pairing this with something, some type of protein. I have my chicken maple sausage patties from Applegate Farms. I have some turkey bacon. I could do cottage cheese, yogurt. I have lots of options, but this is going to be the perfect breakfast. This would also be a really good snack or dessert. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. 
For my lunch this week, I'm making chicken salad with grapes and almonds, and I plan to either have this on my sprouted bread or in a lettuce leaf. I'll show you those two things once we make the chicken salad, but I'm really excited for this. I want something cold that I don't have to heat up, so let me show you what you'll need. But first, you're going to need chicken. You could either buy pre-shredded, pre-cooked chicken, make it yourself. I'm actually going to throw my chicken into my Instant Pot. I think that's going to be the quickest, fastest way to cook it, and then once it's cooked, we'll shred it up. You'll need either sliced or slivered almonds, green onions, celery, salt and pepper, light mayo, non-fat Greek yogurt, reduced sugar craisins, and some fresh grapes. So I added about a one and a quarter pound of chicken breast to my Instant Pot. You can see I put just a tiny bit of reduced sodium chicken broth on the bottom just so that it doesn't stick. Salt and peppered my chicken and I'm going to get this cooking on poultry in the Instant Pot. So I went ahead and added two tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt to a bowl. We're going to do a quarter cup of light mayo, some salt and pepper, and our green onion, and then mix that all together. So I went ahead and shredded up my chicken. We're going to add that to our bowl. And I'm going to give that just a quick mix. Then I'm going to add in my chopped up celery. And again, give it a quick mix. And then I went ahead and quartered one cup of grapes. Stir that in. And then lastly, two tablespoons reduced sugar craisins, two tablespoons slivered almonds and one final mix. And there's the chicken salad. This looks so incredibly delicious. So I have my sprouted whole grain bread from Imperfect Foods. This actually has protein and fiber in it, so I may use one or two slices of that and make a chicken salad sandwich, or just use this green leaf lettuce leaves and make a lettuce wrap. It kind of depends on the day. Do I want the carbs? Do I not want the carbs? Do I need the fiber? Do I need the protein? We'll just kind of see how, what I'm feeling, but I have the option of a lettuce wrap chicken salad sandwich or an actual chicken salad sandwich. You could also put it into a tortilla and that would be, and that would be like a wrap. So whatever your preference is. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for my dessert this week, I'm making a healthy spin on peach cobbler. I'm so excited for this. I've been loving peaches this summer and I love any kind of crumble or cobbler. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need all purpose flour, cinnamon. Again, I'm using allulose as my sweetener. Again, it's linked down below on Amazon for you. Yellow cornmeal, milk of your choice, light butter, baking soda, I'm going to zest the rest of this lemon and use the juice of it, salt, and then two pounds of fresh peaches, or you can use frozen peaches. So the first thing we're going to do is chop up our peaches. It's said to peel them, I don't want them peeled. So I left the peel on, that's totally up to you. But again, this is two pounds of fresh peaches. And then we're adding two tablespoons of flour, a quarter cup of allulose, cinnamon, and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and zest the rest of this lemon. And then we're gonna gently stir to coat. And then into a large bowl, we're going to add three quarters cup of flour, quarter cup of allulose, quarter cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. And then go ahead and mix all of that together. And then to our dry mixture, we're adding one half of a cup of milk, four tablespoons of melted butter, and then we're going to squeeze in the lemon. And then stir all of that together. We're going to add our fresh peaches to the bottom of a pie dish. And then we're going to take the batter and just kind of drop it on top of the peaches. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it with just a tiny bit of just regular sugar. It's going into a 375 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. You just want that crumble topping cooked through. So the peach cobbler is out of the oven. This looks so good. It looks like a little cake on top. I don't wanna dig into it yet. I wanna allow it to cool, but all of those peaches should be nice and caramelized on the bottom. I'll go ahead, of course, and put all the information here on the screen for you. They try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. 
Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to have these all week. Don't forget I will have my recipe website at the top of the description box. That's where you'll find these recipes as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my free Facebook group. Again, come and join us. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to an amazing successful week and I'll see you next time.